What's up guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are doing our day two vlog of our trip to North Carolina. And we just crossed over from Wyoming to Nebraska. Those are gonna be the two largest states that we're gonna go through, so it's probably gonna take most of the day. But I'm ready to get my day started. I know we're gonna be kinda of doing that by playing some NASCAR. So we're just taking a quick stop right now. I wanted to show you guys this. So, so we put this thing on the front of the RV before we went because it's used, it's a cattle guard. So if we hit any cattle, it won't damage the front end. It's honestly a pretty neat little device. I think it looks pretty cool. I see a lot of semis that have this and uh, hopefully we don't hit any cattle. Right now we're passing the Cabela headquarters here in Nebraska. I've never been a hunter, but I do really like fishing. And this is, this is super cool right here. The store right there, Cabela's. So this is basically what Nebraska is going to look like for the next four hours. Just farmland after farmland after farmland. That's why I'm really hoping we get out of Nebraska because I know there's some cool things to see after Nebraska, but I'm just hoping it's daytime so we can see them. So we are still in Nebraska. Obviously looks the same as the last clip. Harley got these new clickbait sunglasses that we're going to have to be using here in the future to get some more views. Here we go. We still have about 300 miles left of Nebraska, and then I think I'm going to do some homework right now, and hopefully we see some more wild animals out the window. So we just changed times for the second time this trip. It is currently 1.31 here in the central time zone, but back at home it'd be 11.31. So this is about the 10th cattle farm that we've seen here. It's not a very big one, there's much bigger ones, but this is just Nebraska for you. Miles and miles of just cows and fields. So here's one of the other cool things about Nebraska. There's a huge feedlot right behind these trees. It smells horrible right now. But see all those cows right there? There's a good picture right there. All those cows. So we still have about 80 to 90 miles left in Nebraska. We've seen lots of farm animals. We've seen, even seen a few cowboys rounding up the farm animals. But we are about 20 miles away from a truck stop that we're going to stop at, stretch our legs, get out, maybe go inside and get some meat. So we're coming up on the truck stop, but on the way there, there's this huge water tank right here to our left. It's the water tank right there. I know we definitely don't see those very often. And I know we definitely don't see those in Medford. So right now it's like 94 degrees out in Nebraska where we stopped. But it is like really, really hot. It's like hot wind right now. It's hot but windy. So we just got out. I got nachos. They kind of, at first, they looked really, really disgusting. But I ate half of them and they're actually pretty good. And then we all got other, we all got bass and robins on top of it. just got back in the RV and that the wind was just way too strong to keep videoing. I spilled a few of my nachos but the ice cream got saved so like I said we all got Baskin Robbins and I got some na uh, nachos. Our goal tonight would probably be to make it to Missouri and also to get some air conditioning because it's hot outside. So we only have about eight miles left here in Nebraska. Next we'll be going into Iowa. We're getting ready to turn off of I-80. On to I-77. Also we got the air conditioning working which is so nice. It's so much cooler in here. We're able to drive for probably about the next four hours now. So we're not in Iowa yet, but we're just getting out of Nebraska, and right now we're coming up on a prison. There's the prison right there. That's pretty cool. I believe this is Lincoln, uh, Lincoln County Correctional Facility, something like that. But that's really, really cool. That's some crazy barbed wire. So guys, we're going down the road. What is that thing right there? Or Missouri River. Guys, we just passed the Missouri River. Wait, are we in Iowa or Missouri? We're in Missouri? We just went past the Missouri River. If you guys didn't see, that was like a tarantula type. Oh, so we're in Iowa. That was the Iowa River there. Uh, like I said, that thing that we passed, it, looked, it was like a farm equipment, but it looked kind of like a tarantula from the road, so I thought that was kind of cool. So we were only in Iowa for about 10 miles. Now we're already in Missouri. We're heading south to St. Louis right now. Now remember last year we got to go by Kauffman Stadium, which is the, where the Royals play. And we got to see the Kansas City Chiefs Stadium, so hopefully we get to see it as we drive by this year. So right now we are entering Kansas City. I believe we're coming up on Kauffman Stadium and the Kansas City Chiefs Stadium. Last year we saw all this in the daytime, so it will be really cool to see at night. Guys, right there is, there's where the Chiefs play. You can't really see it here. See, there's the big sign, Kansas City Chiefs, World Champions, 2015. The lights are all shut off. That was pretty cool, but it's better in the better in the daytime when you can actually see the stadium. Next stop, St. Louis. It's late. It's past one o'clock right now, and we are just getting into St. Louis. We're gonna try to find a truck stop past St. Louis so it's not so busy. The city looks really cool because it's all lit up. I'm hoping we can see the Gateway Arch tonight. So guys, that's the Gateway Arch right there, as you guys can see. We're getting ready to go under a tunnel, but it's right there. 
Oh, this is where we screwed up. There's the arch, guys, right over there. Looks really cool. Here's the river. What river is this? Mississippi. This is the Mississippi, guys, right here. Or we think it is. We don't know what river this is. It just, it's, a, it's just a really big river, the Gateway Arch, right over there. This is really, really cool, though. St. Louis, there's like nobody on the road. One o'clock in the morning. We just finally found a truck stop. It's almost two o'clock now tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for day three. Hopefully I can find some Wi-Fi or some way to upload these videos before Wednesday. And then hopefully we make it to North Carolina tomorrow and that's basically it. So I'll see you guys later. Deuces.